Okay, folks, this morning I'm out here on a house. I had done a video earlier on a, a bigger home. It was a $14 million house. It had an engineered set of drawings. But you know, most of us are going to be out here in the real world and we're going to be drawing our own little blueprint. I want to show you this particular house this morning. This is just a ranch style house. This particular house is one level. Okay? So, w what I've done here is I got one of my guys to actually draw a rough layout of the house itself. He walked through and did a little room by room diagram. It don't have to be pretty. The only people going to be reading are yourself or your technicians because by doing this what you're going to be able to do is figure out how many CFMs goes in per room. So in this particular case we're going to have the master bedroom. We're actually going to, in this case we're going to add a 10 by 10 three-way okay and we always want to throw as much perimeter air as possible because in this particular room there's a return here a 12 by 12 return okay also in this same room this is an existing 12 by 8 one-way grill okay so anyway so what I want to show you is we drew out the house we plotted the grills We've laid out where the returns are because that's, that's critical. Because what you want to do, you want to put your air on the perimeter. And as the air flows through, it scrubs all the way through the house. And it, and it keeps the customer comfortable because heat chases cold. Okay? So as this heat comes in from the outside walls, the glass, it's going to come through. The air is going to blow and it's going to work its way all the way back through with the negative pressure on this return. I just want to show you what we've got here. So this particular house is a three-ton system. We already know a three-ton system is 400 CFMs per ton. So that equals 1,200 CFMs. Okay, now what I've done here is I'm just going to show you real quick. A 7-inch flex, we already know. 7-inch flex is good for 150 CFMs at a 0.1 static pressure. I always reduce that because you want to remember this here is not a flexible ductulator. This is a metal ductulator. So give a little bit more because ideally when you have an AC system you do not want to hear it blow out air. You, you don't want to hear it whistling as it's sucking in the air from the return because if it does that means your stuff is not adequately sized. Okay? Okay, so let's talk about this. 7 CFMs 7 inch, I'm sorry, 150 CFMs. This 6 is 100. 5 is 50. So that's another 150. So that's 300, that's 400 CFMs. That basically is a ton of air conditioning off this 3 ton system just in the master bedroom. Most owners like their master bedrooms cool because that's where they're sleeping at night. Here's a big room, a big living room. This is where the TV's at. You know, this is where their couch is. They're sitting here. This is where they're doing their whatever they're doing. So I'm going to put a 9-inch flex here. And you kind of really want to figure 1 BTU per square foot. But I like to use 0.96, and we'll talk about that later. So anyway, this is 300 CFMs. This here's another bedroom behind this particular living room. This is a 7-inch. So that's 150 CFMs. Here's the kitchen. It's so another 100 CFMs, so that's 550. Okay, now I'm at 400, 550. I'm just trying to keep track of my CFMs here, okay? Now I'm in the dining room section of the house, okay? We have another 12 by 12. We're going to put an 8 inch, 200 CFMs. We're going to walk into the other bedroom here and this particular bedroom's got a six, so it's another 100 CFMs, so that's 200, 100. This is the bathroom, another five inch flex. We do not use four inch for nothing because four inch is pretty much useless. So that's 50 CFMs. We're going to add, this is a walk in closet. By the code, if you have a walk-in closet and you can walk in, you should always add at least a little bit of airflow to, to move the to air so you don't have what we call a stratified zone. It keeps down odors, keeps the mold and mildew off of the customer's.
close. So that's another 50 CFMs. So I've got this one, this one, this one. I've got this one. All right, so I'm good. So how many CFMs is this? That's 300, 400 CFMs. So now we're at 5, 8, 9, 10. We're at 1,350 CFMs. That tells me at 1,350 CFMs, and I only need 12, my system should be quiet. I should have a good static pressure. And when I take my magnahela gauge out and do the supply and return static pressure, it should be good because this owner does not want to hear this thing blowing while he's trying to watch TV or sleep. If you have any questions, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning Electrical. 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.